Hey guys, Austin from Ratchet Wrenches here. We're gonna do a review on a 2019 Hyundai Tucson Limited Edition. But before we get into it, I wanna explain what Ratchet Wrenches is. We um, do tutorials, reviews, car meets, edits, whatever is car related. So please help us out by getting us to 1,000 subscribers. It would mean a lot. If you guys wanna see more reviews, just let us know. If you wanna see more tutorials, etc., comment below. And we'll take your feedback. But while we're here, let's look at it. So obviously you get a new grill design for 2019. It's more sporty. Obviously it's sporty because they, um, Hyundai hired Lamborghini and BMW um, engineers to come on board. So obviously Honda is gonna be changing and making a name for itself. Also you have nice LED headlights. You have the fog lights. You got the nice lower lip. It's very sporty and stylish. But we'll make our way up here. Obviously it's a uh, 2.4 liter. It's 16 valve dual overhead cam. You got liquid um, filled motor mounts rather than the standard all metal motor mounts. It's more of a safety precaution. It's brand new, it's a new style. So if you were in a front end collision, your engine would drop rather than go back and potentially hurt whoever's inside the vehicle. Um, yeah, it's got 181 horsepower at 6,000 RPMs. Um, another thing to do or to take note of is the ease of access for the air filter right here you can literally do that yourself so it can save you time from going to the dealer and money of course you can do it right by yourself but yeah i mean if you come over this way you got nice 18 inch rims obviously on the ultimate model you get 19 but these are perfect it's got a nice silver accent it's got a nice spoke design you got on the limited edition not on anything below it but you have nice chrome finish trim and that's only in the limited and ultimate. You get the nice chrome here. And then if you make your way back here, you obviously have the standard rear end. You got the H-Track, so it's all wheel drive. And you got the dual exit pipe, which just gives it another sporty feature. And we'll show you inside. The door, it's got a nice leather finish. It's very roomy. So you can see there's plenty of room to have five people in this car. You got two up front, three in the back. And you got a nice little cup holder if you want to have your coffee in the morning or whatnot. You got a nice 12 volt plug in for whatever you need to charge right down there. And then we'll show you the trunk space. There's plenty of room in the trunk. Come over here. Unfortunately, I don't have the key. It's over there. But if I were to stand back here for three seconds, it would automatically open. There's plenty of trunk space. I mean, it's obviously being occupied. We have a spare tire, which most manufacturers are getting rid of. They're just using, use, usually giving you fix a flat and a um, sealant. So that's good that they have that. That's another safety feature. That's why this car is the top five star rating for safety. You got a nice cargo net, so you could put some luggage in there. You have a nice shield as well. So you could block out sun, obviously, if you have like perishables or groceries in there and whatnot and then obviously theft protection. So you can just close that right here. And you can see the camera for the rear, uh, rear view camera. And then we'll show you the accessories and luxuries this car has to offer. All right, so we made it inside the vehicle. First thing I noticed is how comfortable the seats are. They have a nice little like hugging type feel to it, as you can see right there. So it makes you feel safe and sporty. So it's, it's a sporty compact SUV. Well, if we make our way up here, you obviously have a nice grip um, steering wheel. It's squishy but firm at the same time, so it's very comfortable. You could go over here, press that button right there, and that will turn on your steering wheel heater. So you'll never have cold fingers because who wants cold fingers while they're driving? Also, you have heated seats for your driver and passenger, so that's a nice feature to have. Um, you have a dual climatic control system, so if you want to be cold on this side and you want to be warm on the left side, you could have that option. You could just customize whatever side you want. But make your way down here. You have an aux cord, a USB, and two 12 volt jacks. And then one cool feature, I'll turn it on. One cool feature to this car is this pad right here. You put your phone on that and it will charge it through a case. No matter what's on it, it will charge it. And it's very grippy, so you don't have to worry about your phone sliding around as you're driving over speed bumps and whatnot. It won't move. It's a very nice texture. Obviously, you have a nice push to start, which is a cool feature. No more key fobs, so you don't have to get stuck and have a broken lock cylinder. If we make our way up here, you have a nice 7-inch touchscreen. You have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, 
So you could attach your phone or sync your phone up, no matter if you have an iPhone or Android, perfect. You have Sirius XM, and I'll show you one more cool feature. If we were to put it in reverse, you have obviously the rear view camera I showed you guys about, and then you have a 360 degree view, so you can never miss what's around you. And if you crash this car, I'm very sorry for you because there should be no way you crash this car. Obviously, you want to use your two eyes to look as well, but this is just another safety feature to help you see what's around. Um, and then if you were to merge left or right, you have blind spot mirrors or uh, monitoring. So if you have your blinker on and someone's in that left lane that you can't see, it will automatically beep at you and it will light up orange. So you can never run into someone. Uh, another thing is it has lane assist. So if you're swerving out of the lane a little bit, it will automatically correct you and go in the right direction, which is just crazy to think about that technology has taken us that far. One cool feature for um, Hyundai is you could get this My Hyundai app. It's called Blue Link. So if you're inside and you want to start your car, lock it or unlock it, turn the lights on, have your heated seats or steering wheel ready for you, you could just do that from a click of a button, which is a nice cool feature to have. Also, another thing down here, you have auto hold. So if you want to take your foot off the brake, you have to hold it for three seconds, I believe, and it will hold it there in place for you. You have a nice electronic park and brake rather than your mechanical, so you don't have to worry about that. Here's the camera view. You get drive modes, you have sport and normal. And then, yeah, it, this is pretty much the most luxurious car for in the $30,000 range, which is perfect for anybody. I mean, it's got everything you would need and you would see in competitive brands that are more money, like BMW, Audi, Infiniti, Maserati has an SUV. Every, everything that's higher it would have the same qualities and luxuries that this car does right here. All right, guys, so this wraps up my little review of the 2019 Hyundai Tucson Limited. Um, like I was saying inside, it's the best bang for your buck. So please, if you're looking for a small SUV or a compact sporty SUV, make sure you go test drive a Hyundai. It's just got the right curves, sporty feel, good on gas. It gets 26 miles to the gallon combined with city and highway driving. And as you can see, you get one last walk around. But, um... Make sure you guys help us out by subscribing, commenting, and liking. We're really trying to succeed on YouTube so we can pursue our passion. Please, if you made it this far, please subscribe. We appreciate all the love, comments. If you have feedback where we can improve and what you didn't like and liked, please help us out. Ratchet Wrenches is out.